guys, how's it going YouTube? Um, today, just to let you know, we're opening a YouTube presentation pack made up by Chaos Cards. Um, Chaos Cards is the place where I like to get all my cards from. Um, I mainly play Yu-Gi-Oh, but they can also do Pokemon, Card Card Fight Vanguard, Forces of Will, Magic Gathering, you name it. Um, also lots of accessories, and we're going to see some of them in this box now. So yeah, let's get on to it, let's tear this box a new one. Okay, so in this box we are meant to have eight booster packs, a repack that they've done themselves, a couple of dice, some sleeves. Um, here we have what seems to be the pack that the repack come in. So this is what their blister packs would look like. It's actually quite high quality, really. Um, let's see, we can find the repack. So here we have the repack that they have made. We'll go through this first, see what we get. So it's come nicely protected, it's all in one sleeve. It's a soft sleeve, so it's got a lot of stretch, so there's no damage to the cards. Okay, so let's turn them over. Okay, so we have a Keeper of the Shrine, Brilliant Spark. These are all from Core Packs. Perform Age still its launch out, so they're fairly new. Raptor's Gust, Mystery Shell Dragon. And we have a Blizzard Princess, Super Rare from the Ninth Collector Tin, which I believe that may have come in the Prophecy Destroyer one. Don't hold me to that. We have a Black Luster Ritual from a Jewelist Pack. Lord of D from a Jewelist Pack. Harpy Lady and Toon Gemini Elf. There's classy ladies. Okay. So. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, so we've got a couple of dice here. And we see a lot of games require dice. High roll, see who goes first. Or roll a six sided die. These aren't six sided, these are ten sided dies. So, yeah, a couple of ten sided die. You're taking them to my locals so I can high roll from now instead of rock, paper, scissors. Here we have a pack of. Yugi Kyber, sleeve, um, Kyber Sleeves of Obelisk, pack of 50, I know these are available on their site now. So yeah, we'll use these to sleeve any hollows we pull from some of the packs. Yeah. Get these open and ready, it's not camera. Okay, so they're nice and ready. And here we have the eight packs. And we will have so I believe we have three Order of Chaos. Um, so you can get Utopia Ray, which is on the front. That was it's actually quite a good card now of Utopia Lightning. Obviously, you attach that onto your Utopia and then lightning onto that. So it's got four attachments. Two Abyss Rising, which has the Bahamut Shark in it, which is going to be great. Again soon with the outcoming of Invasion of Chaos and Treat Toad, or as it's going to be called, Totally Awesome. Not so hot on that name. And then we've got Free Galactic Overlord. So it'd be nice to get the Neo Eyes Galaxy Photon Dragon, or even getting a big eye from this would be great. Of course, this is before a time of a hollow in every pack, so we'll see how it goes. Once I'm holding them, we'll start with the Galactic Overlord. I've packed them all in these lovely little packs here. It shows the sort of things that their items will be shipped in, so everything is protected nice. I mean, personally, when you buy individual cards, they actually come in top loaders from Chaos, which is also good. Plus, you get a free top loader out of it. Open these. Keep hitting the camera. And our first card is Overlayout. Let's go through. Insectors. That was a nice old archetype. Blade Bouncer. Storm. Back in the day when MST was at one. And our rare is Hammer Shark. Insector Ladybug. Nimble Manta. Hieratic Seal of the Drag King. 
That's another point. We can get the secret rare of Sun Dragon Overlord of the Heliopolis, the tin primer that came out, which for some reason has shot up in quite a bit of money recently. I'm not quite sure why. It might be because its effect doesn't target. Okay. Let's go on to the second pack. And we've got another Blade Bouncer, a Flame Tiger, a Moonlit Papillion, XYZ Raph, Light Ray Diablos for our rare, Gamma Shura, Camera Clops, another Heretic Seal of Dragon King, and Heretic Seal of Supremacy. This brings back memories. So I remember once before I opened a Galactic Overlord pack and actually pulled a Ghost Rare. Um, Galaxy Eyes, or Neo Galaxy Eyes. I'll trade it later on. And I did pull a Big Eye from one of the tins that came with these packs. Insector Firefly, Butterfly Egg, Moonlook Papillion, Doom Donuts. That's the scariest donut ever. Light Ray Greffer. Camera Clops, and now we've got a playset of Horatic Seal of the Dragon King, Horatic Seal of Supremacy, and Light Ray Daedalus. So that's the Galactic Overlords. We didn't pull a hollow, but yeah, it's good fun. It's a bit nostalgia. They're four years old, four or five years old now. We'll save the Abyss Rising till last because they're the ones I'm most excited for. Maybe even pull a Megalo. We'll go with the Order of Chaos. And we've got Variable form, familiar possessed dark, Curry Vault, Insector Giga Weevil, ZW Unicorn Spear, Evo Branch, Photon Crusher, Double Defender, and Zen Maelstrom. I believe Photon Thrasher comes in this set, which should be great with ABCs coming out. Just a good card in general, really. We have Evil Sorterius, Insector Giga Weevil, Sealing Ceremony again, Upstart Golden Ninja, Over Capacity, Air Armor Ninja, Double Defender, Evil Sword Elias, and Counterforce. Then we're going on to our final Order of Chaos. We have Galaxy Storm, another Upstart Golden Ninja, Photon Leo, XYZ Burst, and Reverse Buster for the rare, Divine Dragon Apocrylith, and Koala Koala. I do love the look of that fusion. It's I one day would like to have a moustache like that. Earth Armor Ninja, and Mars Ninja Ibisu. Quite a lot of ninja cards. Oh, just nothing else, nope. So we'll go on to Abyss Rising. I opened so many of these packs to try and get a Megalo and never once got one. But I did originally have a Bahamut Shark, so I wouldn't mind pulling another one. Of course, as we all know, these packs were super glued shut, making them impossible to get into. Cool. So. Bahamut Shark, Nope, Fishball Plant, oh. Medolce Crufferson, Unification, Medolce Ticket, a Mermail Abyss Spike with half the writing on Mermail <laughs> cut out. I'm not sure if you can see that on the camera, but the Mermail writing is actually, well, the M isn't an M anymore, it's two lines. Heroic Gift, Abyss Scale of Kraken, Battle Break, and Planet Pathfinder. Card that I have a hundred of. That probably makes a hundred and one. And we're going to the last pack. Haven't pulled a hollow yet. Please be like the Cyframe Lord Omega video where someone's going to shock me at the end and draw me silent. Okay. And we have. Still haven't pulled a hollow. Let's try to get one. We have Magic Deflector. Final Gesture. Oh, I just saw shiny writing. That's not rare. So we've got something ex XYZ Extreme. Spellbook of Eternity. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put that at the back. 
now that I've seen it. Okay. Yep, it's all both be shocked on what it is. We have solar wind jammer, tripod fish, electromagnetic bag worm, a chacha, chanbara, and a secret rare thunder seahorse. Wow. This used to be really good back in the day. You can discard this card. Add two level four light thunder type monsters of the same name with 1600 or less attack from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of thunder seahorse once per turn. You cannot special summon during the turn you activate this effect. Well, we got the hollow. That's a thunder seahorse secret rare. Okay, let's sleeve this up. Get to use our new Kyber Obelisk sleeves. Fits pretty. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, please like and subscribe to see more Yu-Gi-Oh box openings. We also do Pokemon box openings. Um, and yeah, check Chaos cards out definitely because they're the guys that supplied me the high-speed Rider packs where I got a Side Frame Auto Mega, which I was left speechless by. So cheers, guys.